Hello there. Welcome to Art Realm, your source for anything animation related content. Today, I give you a short review about Banana Kong 2, a horizontal endless runner game published by FDG Entertainment. Currently standing at 5 million downloads on Play Store, with a current average of 4.8 out of 6,000 plus ratings on App Store. Overall, the game seems pretty great, as a pastime, but how does it really feel to play the game? Well, you better stick around to find out. So, let's start off with the gameplay. I would say that it's very simple. You swipe in the direction you want Kong to run through. Swipe up, swipe down, hold to glide and just time your actions to reach a longer destination than your previous one while gathering bananas along the way. By doing so, you'd be taken to different places Mario style. There are terrains located underwater, above trees, snowy fields and mines. For me, I'd say that this game is pretty challenging, yet very simple to understand. Story-wise, despite being categorized as an adventure game, this feels lacking in such elements, which I think is pretty much obvious for a runner game. What Kong has been running from at the start of each run is a pile of banana peels that came crashing down. Probably because he's such a glutton. I mean, where did that pile came from anyway? The scenery is very fast paced, which gives an aging me a difficult time to reach a decent mileage without using the revive option. But what stood out for me are the elements inside the game. It's like taking a quick tour to places you've never been and seeing different animals such as alligators, whales, walruses and even pufferfishes. Which I think would be a great sight for the kids. Overall, the story is somewhat a drag, which could make it easily boring due to lack of motivation. But hey, there are in-app purchase which could give your Kong a decent look. I mean, who does not do that anyway? Rivals on FPS games are doing such, and they're the least you'd expect this from. Drone deployed. Friendly hunter-killer drone deployed. Friendly predator missile. Now for the graphics. I think what they've done is very pleasing to the eyes. I mean, it came from the publishers of Ocean Horn, Blossom Tales, and Monster Boy, so I would not expect any less, of course. The design and movements are pretty much solid, and they've even made the effort to give your Kong visual reactions on every scenario. They've even put an angel form for Kong should he drown or faint along the way. Well, for the sound quality, it just shows how experienced the development team are. Sounds are very catchy and it makes you keep upbeat which definitely gives you the vibe that you should be running for your life in a much more friendly and child appropriate way. Pretty much overall visuals are top quality and I couldn't disagree more with how they develop the entire game. Replay value is pretty much, um, well I wouldn't count on it as, as much. Comparing it to a somewhat similar running game, Zombie Rush where you are put to a scenario to gather your kin and take over whatever might come your way. Well, this one felt a little less exciting. Aside from the aesthetics, there's really not much to expect from the game. Just a good way to pass time when you're waiting for a few short minutes. Eventually, uh, I think you'd definitely get bored due to its repetitive nature. So, for the overall review, the game is pretty neat. You got a good gameplay, an excellent graphic and sound quality. Well, not much story to tell, but it's still a good way to pass time. You couldn't really ask for more perfection on a runner game than this. However, it really does not mean that perfection is everything. So, you can play it all you like and it is really exciting at some parts, but it doesn't warrant playable factors for a long time. How about you? What do you think of this game? 